have not seen a toy hauler A before. It says it's got oh bunk beds in here. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Wow. Um, I, I would not mind having these floors in the house. Oh wow. So two master bedrooms in this plan? Hey everyone, there is so much to see here at the St. Louis RV Show. We figured we couldn't pack it all into one episode, so what we're gonna do in this episode is take a look at some of the more unusual and new floor plans that we've seen. So come check it out. Yeah. It's got windows that you can unzip on both sides. It, it's a bed up there? And I guess to pull this down. And then maybe a, something else in the back. I don't know what that would be. This is cool though. Can you imagine loading up the, the dogs and the kid in this? N no. We could do it. I think we could do it. Dogs could ride back here, the kid could ride in the middle. This folds down into a bed, he could sleep up top. Yep, we can make this work. Wow. We can make this work. Oh, there's no bathroom, never mind. What do you think? Um, not enough space for dogs and kid. No. But it does have a potty, and that is pretty important. Plus a little microwave and a induction. I like that. I like that this is a neat little induction range here. Decent sized fridge for a van. I would park this down by the river in a heartbeat. <laughs> you got it? Okay. See? I made a dad joke. <laughs> Wow, um, I, I think would not mind having these floors in the house. <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay, this is... Oh, this is insane. Oh. Out of our range, right? Oh, you, yeah. <laughs> we didn't see that much for our house. Nice, Yippee! Yeah! <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Ooh. I got a little dishwasher now. You have a dishwasher. It's called me. That's true. Wow. Which means, if I'm not mistaken, because symmetry. Not the driver's side. Amazing. Boom. Boom. That's. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because it's got a bunk up above for him, it's got a bedroom, got plenty of room for the dogs, and a back office. Oh. Right? Where's, oh, the bunk above drops mm -hmm. down? Yep. Basement kitchen side, 
Oh, it's got an induction. This is neat. Okay. In case you don't have power, in case you don't have shore power, I guess, you can still cook inside. So you got two burners and an induction. And you've got the toy hauler. Yep. I have not seen a toy hauler A before. No, I haven't either. Yeah, it's an awning. Yeah, but it's going to Yeah. Good use of space in here. Yeah, this is impressive. You want to go in the little retro? Yeah, why not? That thing looks fun as heck. Bunk beds. What? It says it's got bunk beds. Oh my gosh, in here. it's so cute. Oh my. What is this blue? It's got oh no. Blue everywhere. Is this our next rig? Oh my gosh. I love the blue. It's so cute. Look at the checkered floor. It's like a diner in here. This is adorable. Oh my gosh. Look at the book. Yes. Oh, it's so cute. I have to buy this. You have to buy this? You're, okay, when you have enough money to buy this, you can okay, yeah, totally this, do it. This is a retro dream. I love it. Oh, wow. So two master bedrooms in this plan? Yeah. It's what a, is this? It's a uh, KZ? I, uh, yeah, I don't know. KZ. I was just following the kids. Oh, it's a Sportsman SE 301 DBSE. Bedside tables, but you have a closet and overhead and a, what looks like a full size bed. USB outlets. Regular outlets. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, it's fun. Okay, now this is amazing. So I hope that you have enjoyed seeing some of the RVs that we don't usually go and do tours of and take looks at. Um, there were some really neat ones, including that giant A, which was insane, totally mind blowing. Um, we're gonna put the links and things below. If you would hit the subscribe button, we put out movie, uh, movies. We put out episodes every single week. Give us a little thumbs up and comment, show us what you saw in the video that you really liked. We'll see you next time.